What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're back in the UK in a place um, just outside of West Sussex. We're here in a gym called Springs Gym and it's so nice. It's in this kind of secluded area, country road here that brings you up nicely tucked away. I'm shooting with a brand called DHB. So that's why I have makeup on. So if you're questioning that, yes, I do have makeup on, but it's for the photo shoot and it wasn't my decision. Um, so yeah, I'm with DHB, which are a really cool leisure brand. This. Um, is one of the tops and the collection is launching in middle of March and it's really really nice kind of simple design with just simple like logos on the back like nothing too in your face which I really like that kind of performance athletic fit and yeah we're shooting it all today so let's go inside and see what's going on so this here is the stuff that Abby's wearing today and she's actually over here shooting it right now yes look at that form unreal I'm just in the airport here now, and I have to show you this oversized baggage I have. Look at this yoke. So it's a bike, an unbelievable road bike. I'm after getting off the HB. So next month, I'm cycling the length of Ireland, and I put, look at this thing I'm dragging through the airport. It's like a top quality road bike. They let me borrow it for a while. So we're looking forward to getting this home and giving it a crack. Thank you. We've arrived back in Belfast. It is disgusting weather out. You see that? Oh, horrible. I am in Belfast because I'm getting this beautiful bike here reassembled by a place called Chain Reaction and they're going to reassemble it because I don't want to touch it because it's carbon fibre, it's top of the range bike and you know Greg now, I'll go with some tool and break it and all hell will break loose then. So uh, yeah, going to pop in now, meet the few of the boys and they're going to sort me out with some kit for this big cycle I'm doing next month. I'm doing a full length of Ireland. So from top to bottom, Malinhead to Mizzenhead or Mizzenhead to Malinhead, don't know which way it is, one or the other. There are two points on either end of Ireland and I'm cycling it with my best mate in the 8th of November and it should be a lot of fun. Ignorance is kind of bliss because I don't know how hard it's going to be, but it's going to be like 150 kilometers a day. And honestly, the most I've cycled ever in my whole life is probably that virtual Tour de France I did against Shane Williams, which was 11 miles. And now, in fairness, it's the hardest leg of the Tour de France, and it was 11 miles uphill. And I beat Shane Williams, which was great, and I wasn't too tired after it. But 11 miles is not 150 kilometers a day for four days. So one of the biggest worries I have is my gooch, man. Like, supposedly sitting on a bike for a long period of time just absolutely wrecks your gooch and that does happen to me sometimes when i jump on the bike in the gym so hopefully the lads can sort me out with some padding as well um so yeah let's go in and see what they have inside yeah we're getting a bit of everything so we're getting jackets rain jackets the thing is with the cycling stuff is that it's absolutely skin tight and i know me like back in the day i used to wear skin tight skin tight stuff everywhere but i'm not really like that anymore so it's weird kind of going back to the really tight gear again um, but this DHB stuff is unbelievable. It's top of the range, everything. So if you're around Belfast, drop into Chain Reaction. You don't even have to be in Belfast. I came up from Dublin in an hour or so. It's a really cool shop and the bike is there in the back getting done up. And as I was saying earlier in the video, I'm an ambassador for DHB and I'm helping them launch the sports leisure brand. So like the normal gym clothes, kind of the training kit, like anything for the gym or yoga or Pilates. It's really nice stuff. And you saw me wearing the vest earlier. So it's all kind of like plain, um, really simplistic, but really good quality. And this is obviously all the cycling stuff, but that gym wear will be coming out next month. And the girl stuff is really nice as well. So definitely keep an eye out for that. DHB are doing really big things. First of all, how good are the tunes in this place? We're going old school. What are they called again? It's like the Tommy, Tommy Kitten. Kitten. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be looking like. Yes. Yes. What do we think? It's lovely. Really nice kit actually. It fits really well. I'm not just plugging DHP because I'm now an ambassador. But actually, I really do. <laughs> I'm all ready to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge me to a thousand watt challenge. So basically it's just can you hit a thousand watts on the bike? Can't, of course. Yeah. Uh, thousand watts of power. And Let's give it a crack. <laughs> I don't know how many watts I want. Yeah. Did I do it? Yeah, yeah. Come on! <laughs> Too easy. Next. It's like a lot of Ireland now after that. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, if you can, even the next couple of weeks, try and work on what you're going to end in your door to hold you up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tough, isn't it? That is so hard, man. And now I'm just about to leave Belfast, but we're gonna do another little coffee review. So I got recommended loads of different places on my Instagram, but I'm just on the outskirts of the city here and I got recommended to go to a place called Output. It's literally just here behind me. So let's go in, get a coffee and see what it's like. That is a very, very good leaf. How many leaves are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Little. The mug and saucer, very standard to be fair. Um, but I do love the latte art, and let's give it a taste. So initial thoughts, to be honest, it could be a little bit hotter. I know that's probably a personal preference, but like, I like my coffee a little bit hot, and it's just a little bit below that kind of hotness. I would say it's just warm, um, so I'm gonna wanna drink it quickly to kind of enjoy it all. Uh, quite smooth, nice texture. Um, Decent taste, but I thought it could be a little bit stronger, to be honest. Um, so, if I have to rate it overall, output in Belfast, uh, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Good tunes in here. I think I need to reassess my score. So Ended up buying some beans and I realized that the tunes in there were actually really, really good. The toilets were really cool as well. And they said like everyone on the door rather than boys or girls, which I thought was pretty cool, pretty vibey. Um, so I'm gonna increase it to an 8.5. So output, even though it wasn't as hot as I wanted, overall vibe of the place was really cool. So 8.5 out of 10 for output in Belfast. So I am in Leeds right now. So I'm here for an event. It's actually an event with Guinness, which I'm buzzing about. Uh, and tonight is actually a Six Nations event. They're just getting involved. So it's like a big event, just talking everything to do with Six Nations. I'm obviously there to represent the Irish team. Come on, Ireland. What's so annoying is, right, so I flew in today and I had a train booked and for some reason the trains were canceled because of bad weather. It's blue skies at the moment. Like what the hell is that about? But that was really annoying. So I got an extortionate Uber all the way from Manchester to Leeds. So there are my travel woes, but we're here now in Leeds with a few hours to burn. I'm gonna find a nice little spot now, get some lunch, do a little bit of work, and then be ready for the event later with Guinness. So really looking forward to it. So I went to that really cool coffee shop there called Floor. Unbelievable setting, really good coffee, really good food, lovely staff, nice little kind of outdoor setting, even though it's indoor. So definitely recommend that. I'm just going to the gym. I only have about an hour until the event. So get a little bit of lift in, feel good about myself, and then we'll get ready for the event. So I've gotten here to the gym, and unfortunately, it's absolutely manic. All the weights are taken, all the stations are taken, um, which isn't ideal. I haven't been in a gym like this in years. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to get any weights done. So I'm gonna jump on the treadmill for about half an hour. That's it. We did an easy 30K, covered 6.2 kilometers. Really good session done there. Excuse the hair, got really, really sweaty. But 30 minutes done. Covered just over 6K, which is good. Nice to get the sweat in after doing like an hour long cycle last night as well. So feeling really, really fit. Also very skinny. I've lost a lot of weight, but I've honestly never felt so fit in my life. So really happy with it. The event is in like 20 minutes as well. So we have to hurry up now. It's also like a 10 minute drive away. So I've really pushed the time here, but great to get the uh, session in. You know what I mean? Have to get the work in. Outfit of the night from my favorite shop, Massimo Duty. This is one of those simple shirts. I think I had it in my last vlog, actually, a green shirt. This is my first time wearing it. And very simple look. And then we gotta put some smellies on. This is Prada um, Ocean Luna Rossa. Don't know if you can see that there. Get a bit of spray on. Couple there. Oh, that's probably too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm running ridiculously late, but yeah, this is a shirt, some black jeans, some uh, Philip Klein shoes, and yeah, that's it. Let's go. So the venue for tonight is the place called the Library here in Leeds. Looks like a cool enough spot, to be fair. Half time. Tell everyone what you said about him from your ivory tower before his first cap. Yeah, so I only am recently in this kind of media game. You've been doing it for what, 20 years now? No, I've been only retired three years. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 
I, I, I host House of Rugby in Ireland and I was like, this is the first time I'm going to go, go out on a limb here. That's kind of how you start getting engaged. Yeah, take a risk. Yeah. I'm going to take a risk. I'm gonna, on a guy's first cat. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have an opinion here. And I was like, the question was, would Matt Hansen get any game time in the Six Nations? And I was like, do you know what? There's people like Keeter as Andrew Connery, like uh, James Owen might come back Balakim. through Balakim. And I was like, guys that have guys. a lot of caps and experience behind them. Will Matt Hansen play? I don't think he'll play at all in the Six Nations. He's a great player. Do well at the sports ground, but that's about it. The man starts, first of all, so leg between, a tail between my legs already. And then he comes out, scores an unbelievable try, and gets man the match. And I had to publicly apologize <laughs> on TV to Mac Henson. And worse, in between that, I interviewed him on the pitch afterwards. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. He gave me nothing. He was just cold-faced. Oh. Good morning. It is about half eight. The event last night was so much fun. I'll tell you all about it in a little bit, but I have to catch a train now in about 30 minutes. I'm getting a little bit of breakfast. A little bit of water is essential as well. We had a couple of pints again this last night, so needed. Just on my way to Leeds train station now to get to London for a meeting today, but I looked up coffee spots in the area and the best way to do that is going to google maps and press on the top coffee it shows you the best coffee spots wherever you're situated and this place here la bottega milanese i've definitely pronounced that wrong and i think it had like 4.8 out of 5 so but i had to stop off and get a coffee and i'm getting soaked so let's go in and get one i already absolutely love this coffee shop they have their own dog <laughs> look at this Shop ever. Hello. <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hello, what can I get for you? Good, could I just get a cappuccino, please? To take away or help you? To take away, please, thank you. And this is an unsolicited Greg's Coffee Corner, but. This is incredible. If you're in Leeds, definitely get yourself down here. It's not too far from the train station. Really, really good. So I'm in London now. I'm in Carnaby Street, I think. I just came into the shop called Couples. That's the name of it there. Couples, man, it is such a cool brand. Really, really my kind of style. It's a little bit expensive, but it's a really, really nice style. And I'm looking for a jacket. Too many jackets with hoods on them though. Um, so I kind of want one without a hood. Not like that though. Our couples did not work out. So what happened? I was just browsing and your man came up and just kept asking me questions like, what are you looking for? What's your kind of style? And I was like, yeah man, I'm just having a look. And he just kept asking me. So I was just like, you know, I'm getting out of here. So you know what I'm actually thinking? I'm thinking I might get myself a nice chain. Like this is lovely. This is from my um, mate, uh, 99 Julius. But because of this, it's gonna spark my interest in jewelry. And I'm thinking I might get myself a nice, like expensive one. And I know that kind of get, goes against everything I've always said, but I've been working hard and I feel like I deserve it. And I just really like the look of chains. Um, so I'm not too far off Bond Street now. Let's go have a look. That's probably where some good stores are. Having said that, I'll probably get sick at the prices and probably won't get one, but let's have a look anyway. These watches are absolutely gorgeous. Only about the 10 grand though. Really nice. I don't know why that's flashy now, but that's kind of the chain I want. Yeah. So this is kind of the style that I'm looking to go for. You see that chain kind of thickness, but really simple style. It's just I don't really want the pendant on it. I like something really kind of simple and... Mm. But this is the style. Not sure if I'm gonna go for this, but we're definitely getting close. Update on the chain situation. So that's the exact one I want, just without the pendant. Pendant? I don't know if that's the right term. The little piece of jewelry at the end of the chain. Because I just want a simple chain that's not like jumping around. So um, I nearly bought just the chain in store. Well, ordered it. You have to order it into store. It comes from Rome, which is a bit bougie. <laughs> and uh, it was gonna cost three and a half grand on the spot. So I thought, you know what, Greg, maybe don't be impulsive. Think about it. So your man gave me the business card and told him to ring him to order it. He was being really, really nice. Well, obviously he's gonna be really nice because I'm about to spend a couple of grand with him. Um, but yeah, so at least 
we know kind of where we want to go with it we know what kind of jewelry we want but it wasn't the most successful shopping trip because i didn't get anything we've gotten to the hotel and lads they gave me an upgrade i am so buzzing look at this room it's class kind of old school so it's in chelsea kind of area chelsea south kensington and uh as i was saying i kind of treated myself i got myself a five star and it cost 280 for the night i know that's a bit much but like i feel like i deserved it you know what i mean we're working hard we're doing a lot of traveling training hard so and the difference between getting this and like a normal one was like what 70 quid or something so it was just a little bit more um, and they gave me an upgrade as well so i'm buzzing so let me give you a little bit of a room tour so really cool desk and chair here i'm gonna do a bit of work there now in a minute looking out onto a lovely little street big ass bed that is huge can't wait to have an unreal nap there later we got a tv all kind of what would you say that's kind of like victorian kind of style i probably have that wrong but that's what i think it is nice couch table very kind of standard i presume that's a mini fridge turn around here we got just a mirror i think is it a wardrobe no, just a mirror. <laughs> and over here is the wardrobe. Some some amount of space in that. Oh my God, and the light comes on and all. That's kind of cool. Over here, we have an unbelievably nice bathroom. Look at this. She Very, very nice. All the bits and bobs here. It looks quite fancy, all this stuff. Let's try and focus in there. Really nice big ass mirror sink very nice big shower in here really nice but look at this bath this is the gem of the place look at this i cannot wait to have a bath in here later It'd be kind of cool if there was a tv up here but beggars can't be choosers two um dressing hands as well that's kind of sad because i'm here by myself <laughs> so that's the room tour i'm gonna go do a little bit of work and then head to the gym and then and I'm staying in a lot of hotels lately, and do you know what? I'll give you the story time of why I'm staying in a lot of hotels. So, story time. Why am I staying in so many hotels at the moment? Well, it's simply, simple answer is because I'm not renting my apartment in London anymore. Um, I just really didn't like the vibe of the place. Um, I was really unhappy there, to be honest. And it wa wasn't anything to do with the actual apartment. It was just... I just retired from rugby, so the career I had for 10 years where I was surrounded by my mates and I really, really enjoyed it, that was gone. So I was kind of like trying to figure myself out what I was going to do next in my life. And I was in a big new city trying to figure that out. I've always been kind of a small town boy. Like the bu busiest place I've lived is Dublin with my best mate. Like, you know, so I was in a big London city by myself. So it was, that was kind of like something that it wasn't too secure as well. And then um, I started like really struggling with my mental health, to be honest. and is it was getting pretty dark and uh, i tried to swallow my pride for a while and was like you'll be grand but then it got so bad one stage that i reached out to a close mate of mine here in london well they were a close mate of mine and i tried to kind of like confide in them and tell them that i was i was kind of struggling and uh they wanted nothing to do with it really and um they were like, look, I can't, I can't support you and uh, can't be there for you. So that was a really big knock to take as well. And I kind of was embarrassed that I tried to reach out. Um, so all that stuff kind of happened in one go, like changed my career or retired. So didn't have a career, changed places I was living. Um, so trying to figure out a new city and also um, feeling quite lonely, to be honest, and trying to reach out to someone and them not being there for me. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of a really weird time for me. So I kind of just... Um, associate that place that I lived in as a really negative vibe place and I just wanted to get out of there just didn't really feel comfortable or um, happy there so I got rid of it and um, I've still been in London every single week since I got rid of it but what I do now is um, if I'm working with a brand I'll ask them to cover the cost of traveling and expenses and accommodation um, which they do very kindly but i suppose i'm only over here to work for them so it kind of makes sense and then i'm actually looking for a new place in london so um i was in southwest i don't know if i'll go to southwest again i kind of checked out east um recently and i really really liked it the vibe out there is really cool um i don't know if i'm the artsy kind of vibe that's typically out in east but i really liked it and i was i felt like happy out there and that i could really like build a life for myself out there so i'm thinking maybe east 
Um, I jumped into the last place really quick and it was really kind of like fast and I didn't really think about it and I, did, and I was really unsettled there. So I'm going to take my time with this one, see a few places, see a few areas of London and figure it out. And um, so that's why I'm staying in a hotel at the moment. I don't mind it, but I definitely want to eventually have my own place here and be settled and have a base here and kind of be happy here. So that's the reason why I've been in hotels so much and traveling so much. Um, so I think that's a nice place to end this vlog. I never really did a story time before, so I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed and there'll be plenty more content coming your way. I'll catch you next time, guys.